Hello and welcome back on the start of the week. Welcome. I hope that you've all had a wonderful weekend. And I'm back here with an update for my Harry and Meghan fans. So, courtesy of Harper's Bazaar. And by the way, before I go into the article, I had seen the most silliest thing um, on the hashtag um, Harry and Meghan. And basically, this article is here to debunk. I think that they should just have a whole debunking, um, you know, <laughs> section to their Archiewell uh, website. So it was a very interesting um, story that was being peddled. And now we have some actual facts here. So let's go into the article. So it says Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan are eager to launch their non-profit organization. Archiewell, but they have no plans to compete with Queen Elizabeth II's own honor awards with a potential recognition ceremony courtesy of their new venture. In a statement shared today with media, including Bazaar.com, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex clarified that there will be no sense of rivalry with the monarchy in the couple's upcoming stateside philanthropic endeavors. False British tabloid reports alleged that the couple were planning to launch an awards ceremony meant to show up the Queen's own honours and awards, which recognise individuals and their standout work not limited to the sovereign's knighthoods and most excellent orders of the British Empire. Tabloids also alleged that the couple incorrectly filed the trademark application for Archiewell, which the pair further shut down as false. We look forward to sharing more about Archiewell's work in the weeks ahead, but... Any suggestion that it is intended to rival the UK honours list is false, said the Archiewell Press Secretary in the statement. Furthermore, the trademark application has followed the normal course of business for the US trademark process and any suggestion otherwise is also false. Harry and Meghan first announced the launch of Archiewell back in April, following their landmark decision to step down as senior working members of the royal family and relocate to Meghan's home state of California. The launch of the new nonprofit has since been postponed due to the pandemic, but the couple did recently reveal a website for the venture hinting at a looming debut. They have had the opportunity to speak with some incredible thought leaders and those conversations have been deeply educational and helpful in identifying the work they want to do with Archiewell. A source told Bazaar back in June, they are applying all their learnings to the future of the organization. So there goes the article and I want to know what you think about this in the comment section and what ire um, those tabloids had stirred up among certain sections when I was going through the hashtag um, earlier in the day that they were trying to compete with the queen and the you know what I just found it so funny that I said I'm gonna wait for a statement I wasn't even gonna bother to cover um, just what I knew outwardly was just a lie and you know what it was the tabloids that led the report on this the sun um the daily mail and remember that the duke and duchess of sussex said that they would no longer be cooperating with you know with any of them and they said that they would you know form relationships with people who are trusted they will not be um you know clickbait fodder they will not be tabloid fodder and you know what it's so interesting we all know how trademarks work, especially if you are in the public eye. They trademark everything. It is standard practice to trademark everything from, you know, from merchandise and, you know, even awards. But they do it just as a way to cover their name and the names of their organizations from being misused by others. 
it would never have given an indication that they were ever going to have some competing kind of honors, you know, against the queen. So I think that the tabloids really did have some great clickbait early in the day for those who clicked through and all who chose to cover that and all who chose to, you know, say that Harry had really turned his back on his family. And now we know for a fact that it is not true. I wonder if the retractions are ever as forceful as the stories that come out earlier. You know, it's just so interesting to me. So I am glad that they are free to defend themselves. I think I've said this over and over because we do remember the stance when they were senior uh, members of the royal family. They never complain, never explain. And I've got to say that just doesn't seem to work because for those who've um, watched The Crown um, season, I think it's four, I don't actually watch it, but I, I've i heard that, you know, it depicted, um, you know, the relationship between Diana and Charles in some kind of way. And, you know, there were some kind of statements being issued left, right, and center. I saw it trending on Twitter that Netflix would not uh, label the crown as um what, what is it like fiction or something and they said they did source a lot of the scripting from you know documentaries where diana spoke in her own words so i think they are not gonna bend to that so it's interesting you know the duke and duchess of sussex were encouraged to keep quiet in the face of every lie and you know we see a strange double standard but here we have it guys there's the truth they are not going to be competing with the queen you know launching some kind of honor awards and i heard that you know the silliest thing ever and it it truly was silly people were saying that they wanted to give out knighthoods what oh my goodness <laughs> yeah so um just because it's in print doesn't mean it's true so I'm glad that I'm here to help um, debunk for those of you who never saw, um, you know, the other side of the story. I I just think there needs to be a lot of accountability, not only in the mainstream, but also in these tabloids. One cannot just come up with an entire story out of wholesale cloth and just do it for clicks. There has to be some kind of accountability of some sort or just some kind of moral um, compass not to do that simple do unto others right so yeah i'm happy to bring that to you let me know your thoughts in the comment section before we log off as always i would like to thank my patreon supporters i appreciate your support for my channel you truly mean so much to me and i would like to highlight my patreon comment of the day this time it is from my patreon supporter Anna Thorne, and she says, I agree, completely practical to have a Cali Christmas. I think there's a Santa Claus beach not too far from them. Yes, it's a real beach, lol. Hope Harry and Meghan enjoy Christmas in the States. Thank you, Alicia, for including many flattering pics of the Sussexes. And then she gives the timestamps. So thank you, Anna. And this is the video where it was reported that Harry and Meghan would be spending Christmas in Cali. So I'm happy for that. And I hope they have a wonderful first Christmas together in the United States. Thank you, Anna, for that comment and for all my Patreon supporters. Thank you to all of you who watch and subscribe and comment and share my videos. I appreciate you all. And I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.